Greetings, this is LameGuy64 and this is a lame bit segment where I basically do a very uh, a quick video of me doing something interesting but is not uh, enough to warrant a very long video of it or at least for the meantime uh, mainly because I don't have time to do a, ve a very long video at the moment uh, busy with a bunch of stuff lately so yeah uh, what you're seeing here is as you can see it's my 386 uh, running Windows 3.11 at the moment and then next to it is uh, what appears to be a botch job of wires and Arduino and a breadboard with a chip on it. And if we look down here, there's a PS2 mouse connector with a PS2 mouse connected to it. And then there's a wire going to the back of the 386. And what this is, is, well, now you guessed it, a PS2 to serial mouse adapter using an Arduino. As you can see, it actually works as I move this uh, PS2 mouse. As you can see, nice and smooth. And uh, the reason why I wanted to do this uh, project is because I wanted to be able to use a, a laser mouse on my 386. Uh, while a ball mouse is uh, quite authentic for a computer of its uh, time, I kind of uh, like to be able to use a more modern mouse sometimes. So, yeah. Um, Basically, uh, most, of, most of the conversion is done by the Arduino uh, to read the PS2 mouse data and then translating it into Microsoft uh, mouse con compatible uh, serial data. Uh, the, uh, I basically wired the TX pin of my Arduino to a 74LS00 to more basically invert the logic levels of the Arduino's uh, serial interface uh, to be compatible with uh, the PC's uh, serial port and apparently 5 volts logic is enough to drive it you don't need the uh, max 232 to drive uh, uh, 12 volts uh, to uh, no, to drive the serial ports of this uh, PC with 12 volts uh, for this project it's not really necessary I think and I think my design is uh, good uh, is pretty decent because it doesn't require a max 232 chip which is not always readily available for everyone and that's uh, the thing about most serial uh, projects uh, that I've seen on the internet. Um, I don't really find them very appealing when they use chips that I could not find uh, locally. So I guess my design is much more accessible uh, as long as you have you can source an Arduino in the first place. That is. So yeah, um, as for the source code, uh, there isn't much um, I've ri I've written. Uh, he basically used the PS2 mouse library by Christopher on GitHub, and then my logic, my code uh, basically reads the data off the PS2 and then PS2 mouse, and then it translates it into Microsoft mouse compatible packets uh, with my logic here. Uh, just a bunch of bit fiddling stuff, uh, and it works really well. So, yeah. At the moment, uh, the only way to get my uh, serial mouse protocol uh, prototype working is uh, before you run a pro uh, mouse enabled uh, DOS application or Windows you must first plug a regular uh, serial mouse on it first and then once uh, OS has been initialized and you can move the mouse cursor you then swap that mouse with my adapter to get it uh, to work because at the moment um, the my prototype does not send an initialization uh, byte to the to the computer when it's being restarted uh, by the mouse driver via turning off and on the handshake lines which uh, serial mouse usually use as a source of uh, power. Uh, right now the Arduino is powered by my laptop instead so I cannot do that uh, detection yet. Uh, but I'm gonna work on uh, implementing that obviously uh, basically having the Arduino be powered entirely by the serial so that it'll be, it can be used independently uh, to make it much more practical to use. Right now it's still in a prototype phase and so far it's working pretty great. Uh, let's load up paintbrush and doodle something stupid. Uh, so, yeah. Yep, it works really well. Much better than a ball mouse, de most definitely. But even with a laser mouse, you can, as you can see, the drawing still looks pretty jagged. That's most likely because of the, the rate uh, 
uh, no, the report rate of the serial mouse being very low. I think it's around 40, uh, 40 per second. Uh, because uh, the serial port runs at uh, 1200 baud, 7 bits, uh, 7 data bits and one, 2 stop bits. So, yeah, it's pretty slow. And I'm not sure if there are any higher end mice that use uh, higher um, baud rates uh, through a special driver, but uh, who knows. At least this is an improvement over the ball mouse still. So, also, the thing I did. Uh, my conversion logic is that uh, apparently the report rate of the PS2 mouse is too high for the serial protocol. So what I did is that I had to uh, pull the serial, uh, no, the P pull the PS2 mouse uh, five times and then interpolate the the uh, uh, velocities of the mouse movement uh, before sending the 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 results to the PC. Otherwise, if you don't do that, you'll end up with a very laggy mouse. So this is a way to prevent that, more or less. So, yeah. Uh, as soon as this project uh, matures, I will most definitely publish uh, the code and uh, diagrams on GitHub. Uh, since, well, this is a hobby project, after all. And it's very simple with a, once you have an Arduino on hand. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this uh, video. So and also stay tuned for the for me uh, for releasing and uh, for me releasing the stuff needed to make your own adapter uh, once I finish this up uh, eventually. So yeah, I guess that's pretty much it uh, for this uh, lame bit uh, video. And excuse for my slightly dodgy um, speak for the meantime because it's pretty late in the evening. I know it's really night. Uh, it's around 10 o'clock as of the filming of this video. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this uh, video. LameGuy64 is signing out and thanks for watching.